In a world of dooms, returnals and devil may cries, have you noticed how immaculate video game combat models have become? Where before the likes of God of War or the original Devil May Cry were a revelation in fast moving kinetic action, today slews of titles have unique, energetic, addictive gameplay loops that can take up entire afternoons if you let them. Regardless of where you're coming from though, some titles prioritise the feel of action combat and deserve to be applauded. Now before we go any further, I need to shout out this list's sponsor, Biomutant. A staggeringly detailed open Open world action RPG created by X Just Cause developers Experiment 101, Biomutant lets you pick from a range of irradiated post apocalyptic animal species, then set about carving and crafting your way through some gorgeous environments. With an incredibly impressive character builder and crafting system, the real showstopper is combat itself. A hybrid of slow motion gunplay mixed with various martial arts, plus some punchy ranged magic attacks to keep everything looking stellar. Biomutant is out now and we'll be detailing it more across this video. For now though, I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 video games with totally unique combat. Number 10, Absolver. Simply one of the coolest melee-focused Souls-likes ever made, Slowclap's Absolver lets you build a combat deck of various martial arts moves on top of a base class defining other movement and offensive slash defensive capabilities. The deck is built from separate individual animations, punches, kicks, etc. that you can chain together in any order. However, the really neat thing is that learning these moves comes from having them performed on you from a whole world of other players, as you learn to fight correctly. Absolver's interconnected world of players constantly exploring, dueling and unlocking moves gives the whole thing an Enter the Dragon or Shang Tsung's Island in Mortal Kombat type feel. With endless options for character builds and some great aesthetics rounding out your fighter's look, this is a stellar take on the soul genre with combat that everyone should try. Number 9, FTL, Faster Than Light. Over the years, many sci-fi games have tried to make you feel like the commander of a spaceship. Star Trek Bridge Crew even let you and some friends don VR headsets, then view each other's digital selves in real time, operating various levers, switches, and pieces of software to fight off enemies. Best of the bunch though is FTL, subset game's deeply tactical combat game where all the functions of your ship, from shields to opening doors and fighting intruders, are all separate key bindings away. Get the control scheme down and depending on how you've designed your vessel, encounter have you sending out attack drones, moving crewmates to put out fires after incoming blasts, firing off a missile, or just targeting your enemy's oxygen systems to cripple them from within. Such an addictive, multifaceted approach is the perfect accompaniment to a game where you're exploring a randomly generated set of encounters anyway, making FTL super addictive and occasionally brutally hard. Number 8. Destroy All Humans a game that revels in overblown physics abusing powers like nothing else. Cult classic Destroy All Humans got a stellar remake in 2020, further letting you experiment with a range of alien weaponry from gravity rays to mind control and everything in between. Playing as one Cryptosporidium 137, you'll bust out psychokinesis to pick up enemies and vehicles with the power of your mind, lobbing them into targets or just causing wider chaos. You can pop enemies' heads, appear as a human, or take over human minds for distractions or puzzle solutions. Next is being able to hop into your UFO whenever you feel like it, taking to the skies and using a tractor beam to weaponize even bigger items, bust out a building leveling laser or trigger a sonic boom to clear some space. Combine nothing has quite matched Pandemic's take on open world meets physics based carnage and there's a reason it's remained so beloved over the years. Number 7. Fury Onto one of my all-time favorites, the game baker's Fury hybridizes two of the fastest and most intense genres around. Bullet hell, screen-filling wide-angle sections, and up-close brawler melee duels where you're still looking for specific openings and attacking, but with the focus now on counters and finishes. Combined, it produces a pace that doesn't let up for the entire runtime, and the game's tutorial is just however long it takes you to master these twin systems. There aren't any core unlockables or moves either. It's all about learning how to hone a set of abilities and timing windows, then match them against a boss rush of awesome encounters that will push you to the limit. Story-wise, we have a no-named samurai escaping from a prison in the sky, but clearly the game bakers knew what to focus on. A razor-sharp control scheme and some banging music from synthwave royalty like Carpenter Brute, Danger, Wave Shaper, and the Toxic Avenger. Fury simply goes at a confident pace and asks you to keep up. Number 6. Okami Okami's base combat might have a lot in common with standard action slashes of the 2000s, but where Clover really elevated things was with the brilliant brush techniques. Being you're playing as the wolf god Amaterasu, you gain access to the Celestial Brush, a super neat mechanic that freezes time and lets you draw a number of spells in the air that then trigger when everything resumes. 
This also translates into interacting with the environment, contributing to Akami's ethereal quality as this omnipotent god saving the land from evil. You can draw a sun or moon to change the time of day, and action-wise you can slice through enemies, create bombs by drawing a circle with a little line sticking out, make a swirl to conjure wind, and many more. Okami remains one of the most beautiful games ever created, matching interactivity with thematics and narrative in a way that very few have ever pulled off. Number 5. Biomutant Today's list sponsor and in development since 2017, new developer Experiment 101's Biomutant is a powerful first step into what could become an entire franchise over time. The world and story itself is a living comment on environmentalism, as the developers crafted a place where nature has fought back. Now all that's left is mutated monsters, irradiated heroes, and a ton of action to get lost in. Seeing you create a character whose build is dependent on their aesthetic, that alone directly affects combat. Movement speed, punching power, evasion, etc. are first represented visually, and all factor into a mix of gameplay styles, leaping through the air with firearms in slow motion, comboing into meaty dodge-heavy melee flurries, then finishing with acrobatic specials that freeze the action so you can take it all in. There's a snappy, arcadey satisfaction to how Biomutant feels to control, something that propels you to unlock every last part of its lore, gameplay mechanics, and expansive world. Number 4. Fire Pro Wrestling World Way, way more people need to check out the Fire Pro series, and not just wrestling fans. While its simplistic aesthetic tends to drive the masses towards 2K's WWE games instead, Fire Pro has a far greater amount of customization options for diehards, and a unique set of mechanics that blends the best parts of arcade sports games with the show-stopping nature of wrestling's biggest bouts. Now, it is obfuscating as hell, and there are legions of expanded tutorial videos filling in for where Spike Chunsoft essentially dropped the ball, but once you get your head around timing-based grapples and the various ways to go in and out of your superstar's animations, you'll be hooked. One of the many great features here is that you can't just bust out your most damage-dealing moves straight away either. They have to be worked towards and earned, like the flow of a real-life match. Even breathing has a dedicated button, bringing in one of many background calculations surrounding how you'll perform when accessing high-flying moves or bigger slams. All in all, Fire Pro simply doesn't get the love and exposure it deserves in the West, and while that's largely down to how tough it can be to figure out, the reward on the other side is like nothing else. Number 3. Divinity Original Sin 2 an RPG that makes you think like an element conjuring master, both Divinity games are highly recommended, but part 2 is a true great. Sticking with combat though, everything is turn-based, but the options at your fingertips get mind-blowingly expansive. You'll start by realizing you can set many things on fire, including pools of oil from barrels that you've just broken. Teleporting enemies away from the battlefield so they waste their turns getting back to you while you reposition characters is another neat, but it's nothing on transforming an NPC into a chicken, adding a damage buff to their movement, and then watching them die automatically in their new form. Thinking this way blows everything wide open, and while Original Sin 2's world and characters are super immersive, it's the combat that often gets overlooked whenever we're discussing great RPGs. Number 2. Monster Hunter Check out some gameplay footage and maybe Monster Hunter looks like every other third-person hack-and-slash game. Play it though and the reality is anything but. For a start, Monster Hunter doesn't have a lock-on. Instead, different installments have given in to demand by trying timed camera swoops revealing enemies, but the point is that you're supposed to factor in weapon swings, character position, and overall animation with every button press. Lining up for a massive hammer swing and actually nailing it is where the franchise starts to feel super satisfying. And that's before you've experimented with a huge array of weapon builds and advanced skills for each class. Monster Hunter is clunky, lumbering, and strange to dive into, but that's precisely why it's so special. And number one, Steel Battalion. To this day, there's not been a weirder, crazier, more unique control scheme in a game that was officially released anyway than Steel Battalion. Capcom's 2002 mech combat simulator could only be played with a custom 40-button, 200-pound controller that you had to buy with the game. Do so and you'd get an array of switches, knobs, dials and buttons to fire weapons, control movement, tune your radio frequency and much more, alongside three foot pedals all to aid in sheer immersion. There was even a red escape button to eject from your mech, which if you didn't push in time before exploding would wipe your game save and restart you from the beginning. That is how much Capcom wanted you to believe you were piloting a real mech. 
Understandably, Steel Battalion became a cult classic overnight, and remains a game built from the ground up for a very specific consumer. Actual reviews were mixed, but fairly positive, and the game marked a point in gaming history where, as the PS2 collectively dominated the globe, studios were greenlighting the most wide-eyed of pitches because it felt like the sky was the limit. And those were 10 video games with totally unique combat. Massive thanks again to today's list sponsor and open-world action RPG, Biomutant, which you can pick up right now. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com and I'll catch you soon.